two, three. <laughs> Welcome to Tr Tron, or uh, something from the 90s that looked really, really cool and a bit different. What do these remind you of? Tatooine. I do know what this reminds me of. This reminds me of a Carry On film that Barbara Windsor did this with. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I remember that. I remember <laughs> thinking that. I remember thinking she was hot when I was like she was. 12. She was. Mm. Anyway. <laughs> was she um, uh, points for spotting what I'm talking about. So, PRS, uh, this is going to be a quick video, you'll be pleased to know. PRS have a, a limited edition run of the ever popular SE custom range. So, built in Korea, um, same kind of basic spec as you'd get on a, on a regular SE custom, same trim, the, the SE 8515 pickup, same scale length, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, but now with uh, an ash, solid ash top, Mahogany body, solid ash top, in a sandblasted and grain filled. Sounds like a breakfast cereal, doesn't Sounds it? Sounds like a Tuscan Raider. <laughs> uh, sandblasted and grain filled finish. Um, at time of filming, only the two Larry colours are in stock in the UK. But by the time this video comes out, this bevy of beauties on screen now will be available. Um, what do you think, Rob? I think they're cool, edgy. Um, you know, Mayon's kicked off this this visual vibe, and I think it now kind of belongs to the world. World? I went really Wiltshire then. I'm sorry about that. Um, I like that they got the birds on them still. Uh, actually, when I first picked it up, I wasn't a massive fan of the neck because of the whole black. What do you call this finish? Satin. Is it okay? Satin. Nights in black satin. <laughs> yeah. On they the don't back make great necks. Um, but then when we started jamming, I quite enjoyed the sound of you the pickups. You know what I don't like about this guitar? And it's purely and simply they should have put heavier strings on it. Oh. And that's all it actually is. I, I thought it was something about the neck or something that I wasn't sure about. And then as I was playing, I realized it just needs more manly strings on it. Well, you know, it's really convenient that the one thing you don't like can be changed. Exactly. So that's it's a good thing. That's a good thing. Um, Shall I show the ladies and gentlemen some nice tones? I would if I were you. And then we'll see if... Can't, my foot is tangled from this orange cable. Quick, we'll, three people on quick. set now. Untangle Rob's foot. No, no, it's fine. It's okay. <laughs> Everything's all right. It's okay. Um, don't forget the contract states. No one can look at me for more than 10 seconds at a time. Okay. I know. Uh, so here are some cleanliness tones. Uh, from this here guitar. I'm actually going to roll the volume off a little bit because especially the neck pickup is really high up. Pokey poke poke. It's, it's, and it pushes this a bit harder than it needs to be. So. Okay. Clippage. Touch of clippage, which is mm. unusual. So now let me give you some crunch. Oh, that's, that's what better. it's designed to yeah.
pickups are really more in the let's gun it and play some hard jaunt bambacam. You know stuff. what I would have? Uh, well, I should tell you. So there's, there's a bit of a backstory behind the the ash and the the, the sandblasted finish in that it's previously only been available via PRS's private stock collection. Oh. So super, super expensive. It's a limited edition run of 750 guitars. So I guess it's going to be somewhere in the region, you know, 120, 150 of each color. Um, and you know what I think they should have filled this with? Marmite. Because that <laughs> is exactly what I think this guitar is going to be. And I'm going to come down on the side of going, I don't like it. I don't, right. I don't like the colors and I don't really like the finish, but that's the beauty of guitars because there'll be thousands of people out there going, well, I don't like you, Captain, and I, I love it. <laughs> so <laughs> I want to know if Americans know what Marmite is. Vegemite Marmite. <clears throat> it's a sandwich spread or a toast spread. Well, Vegemite's uh, very different to Marmite, yeast, uh, It's a yeast, yeast extract. extract. It's the, the origins of Marmite are uh, back in the old days of distilling whiskey. There was this disgusting looking black goop at the bottom of the barrels and somebody stuck their finger in it once and in the way humans do just thought oh, i'm going to taste this that's quite nice and that was how marmite was born um uh, i think was it whiskey or was it beer it's i think, I think it's beer it might, it might be the goop from the bottom of a bit but it's goop basically from the bottom of a barrel it's a right. byproduct it's like dairy leaf. and in england marmite tends to be a sandwich spread that you either love or you hate so we have a saying over I... here if something is marmite there won't be anybody going I can take it or leave it. They're literally going, I hate it or I love it. I put a bit of Marmite inside my casseroles or stews to, off I mean, the spoon, I, that is. I love Marmite. So you make it a bit beefy. Yeah. It's a bit beefy flavour. No, no, that's Bovril. Marmite has no beef in it. No, but it's not vegan. Mm, Marmite because is, it's got yeast in it, that's yeah, living, why. Living but it's creatures. got no... It's Bovril is the beef extract. Yeah, it is. Marmite is yeasty thing. And then Vegemite is a is a, an Australian or an Antipodean version of Marmite. It tastes see, pretty similar. Come to Anderton's for all of your condiment mm. uh, information requirements. So I, I actually, yeah, genuinely, I would have smeared Marmite. Right. Ooh. I love things. I think it would have looked, Marmite. okay, but seriously, mm. I think it would have looked cool if it was gold inside. That would look really cool. Gold inside? Oh, as infilled, grain filled yeah, with gold. gold. Solid gold, actual uh, gold. No, just like gold top. Quite gold. <laughs> yeah, I'd look, I, I definitely think the, the blue one and there's a black one where the infill is kind of grey. I just, I think it's this. is It's like, this just reminds me of the Joker. For, uh, sorry, the Riddler from the Batman movies. I don't know. It, but it's, I think that's because when a lot of guitar is reenacting your mm. heroes, you don't have any heroes that would play that kind of thing. Not you? really. I mean, nothing about the, the feel or the sound of the guitar puts me off. I've always thought that the SE Custom Range by PRS is, you know, again, one of the standout guitars that you could buy in that price range. And what do they range for in price? They range AVEC, AVEC en deluxe gig bag from PRS for $7.99, which is the same price as all the other SE Customs, pretty much all the SE, other SE Customs. And I believe, I believe, uh, that there are not just custom 24 versions. I think there are left-handed versions, there are some custom 22s, and there are even some Floyd Rosie versions, if I remember rightly. Nice. But if I'm wrong, uh, it'll be in the description below. I believe. Why don't you give us some of the uh, beautiful green tones from that Swamp Ash Laden PRS? I'll do that. I'll do that, and I will try and play in the style of green. Okay. Um, so here's the. You play green Marmalisha. <laughs> Neck, middle. Bridge. Avec coil tap. I've lost the ability to say with, and I now just say avec. avec but... yeah. Both pickups together. Bridge. It's a bit spiky, isn't it? Uh, with pick a distortion pedal, Plimsoll. That's 
my favourite uh, use of this guitar is a sort of a dirty, gainy. And I think yeah. with this colour as well, it's it's probably going to appeal maybe to a, a bit more of a punky kind of vibe. You know what? You I didn't do high gain with the tab. Didn't out. you? No, I just. You're going to do high gain Fred Astaire. quirky offering from the wonderful people at Paul Reed Smith. So there you are. Uh, links I, in the I'm, description below. I like the finishes. You I like think, it? I think it's a unique proposition from PRS at this price point. I guess I like the fact that because they're Swamp Ash, they will all be very slightly different. I like the sort of... Um, it's, I like the fact that... that what's the... I, I always they're get this wrong. They're all different. What's the... Is it Ruark? Ruark? What's the... Where you have the... Like a silhouette, and it's like, what does that remind you of? And you go, oh, murdering a rabbit. Or, oh, you know, yeah. What's that? Uh, um, uh, I can't remember what they're called, but this one looks like a goldfish storm. Yeah. So oh, there you go. What is it? What mom. does this remind you of? <laughs> if you said something deeply dark and uh, irresponsible, you should probably go and see a psychiatrist. And what does this remind you of? I yes, agree. I thought so too. Yes. Okay. Uh, I've been Rob. I've been the captain. See you later, guys. And that was how Marmite was born. <laughs>